I will try to I will try to speak English today uh, with my Croatian English. I will try to explain uh, what I'm doing in my life, uh, more or less. Although Tanya told me you're not going to show your work again, uh, I have nothing else to show, so I will show my work again. And but I will also try to explain why we are doing things and you know just few few words about. Uh, how the whole thing is uh, happening and why. Uh, okay, I work in an advertising agency called Bruket and Zinic. This is our logo, which tells you that uh, it's 50 of us. And uh, it's a lot of people and a lot of trouble. You said that before. We are, you know, the wrong pyramid. And I'm the rich guy at the top, hopefully one day. Uh, but yes, we wanted to show how everybody who is working and we are at the agency where you can clearly see who did what, and on our website you have all the credentials, etc. So, um, I work in, uh, in 50 people uh, agency. Uh, this, is our, uh, work. Ah, this is my crew. Uh, yeah, we are pretty <laughs> nice people. But, um, I'm joking, this is not my crew, this is my crew. Or at least this was my crew. Uh, when we were young, and now we all have children and we don't party anymore that much, so at six we all go home to our children, but once upon a time we were a really interesting crowd, we had the best parties in the city, uh, and that looked like this, <laughs> but it's, it's past, oh, this is my partner Nikola Zinic, I'm making a cocktail, uh, that was me, once upon a time, uh, our creative director, uh, but the reality is completely different now. We are getting fat and we have dogs and uh, we don't drink that much. Uh, we used to be like that, but we are going to the nice future uh, of uh, sustainable living. Uh, they recycle everything. Uh, so this is the place where I work. Uh, I try to find some facts about our agency, for example, well, the longest file name on our servers was, I will read it in Croatian, Adres korporativni film, pred finalni test 6. Ti dragi djeda mrazi, spreman sam baciti psića u vulkan, samo te molim da osiguraš da ne bude sedmog, dot move. Adres korporativni film, pred finalni test 7. Uh, when we started, we said, okay, we have, this is business on the end of the day, and as any business, we have to advertise it. And we wonder how. So the first attempts were doing some stupid movies that we found, well, we thought it would be useful. So we said, okay, maybe this is not the best way to advertise our business, so we found the better way. Uh, there was an advertising fair in Zagreb, and all the agencies have their stands and beautiful ladies showing uh, TVCs that they did and uh, giving leaflets, etc. And we wanted to be there because it's important. We wanted to, to, wanted to, to, to show our business. And, but we didn't have money, so he says, okay guys from, from the fair, can we rent the cheapest place you have? And they said, yes. So we got the cheapest place they had, and we, had, we put the signs all over uh, the place to show people how to get there. Uh, so it looked like this. And the whole stand was sooner or later, everybody comes to us. 2,500 kunas. 
uh, we wanted I, we wanted to be to become a global big advertising agencies with offices around the world you know, real big, big guys in black limousines uh, I'm 38 so far and uh, so far we got to Azerbaijan uh, we have one office there um, People laugh when you say that because uh, they have prejudice about uh, Azerbaijan because uh, this was for a long time the first picture that Google, uh, that Google shows when you, when you put Azerbaijan in it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys look like this. Uh, but the real life is this is a picture from our office. Uh, I did it with my iPhone. This is the Azerbaijan today. Uh, a lot of oil money. And yeah, we're trying to do business there, somehow. Uh, Zagreb is far less glamorous than, than Azerbaijan. Uh, we have an office in all toilet paper factory, and it looked like this. Uh, so we tried to beautify it a bit, and uh, of course the owner doesn't have money to do that, so we painted it by ourselves. So now it looks like this. Can you see that? Because of the table? Yeah. Uh, so when I say we painted it, uh, I mean really we painted it uh, by hand. This is uh, our graphic designer, our product designer and the manager of our shop concept company. What they did, they painted it themselves. <coughs> and now it looks like this, a little bit better. And, okay, that's about the place where I work. Uh, I'll never show what you're doing and I'll try to explain why. What I like to do most, uh, we are advertising agents, we are doing TVCs and other regular stuff, but uh, what I really like to do is design books. But, because I'm by education, I'm a graphic designer and I like to design books, but uh, the books with the biggest budget for productions are in Croatia, annual reports, so I'm designing annual reports. Uh, this is one we did for uh, investment company Adris. They have 20 different businesses and during the recession they, they were fine, they were doing good, they were doing well and uh, they wanted to show that somehow, so uh, this is the, how the annual report looked uh, during the day, but when you switch off the light in your office, then it looked like this. The rest of the book was very simple, just figures, and that's it, basically. Time we've been doing annual reports for Podravka, you know Podravka. Uh, the last one we did was, uh, well, it was made of, uh, the name of the annual report was well done. Uh, it consisted of two books. One was a big book with numbers and in the middle uh, there was another small book with uh, the most important stuff that Podravka has, their secret recipes. And the joke was that uh, Book with secrets was completely empty. Uh, pages were empty, plates were empty, no food, no recipes. Uh, you had to prove that you know how to cook to to get the recipes, because uh, you have to you have to prove that you are a precise cook. And what you had to do is to bake the small book, uh, put it in an oven for 25 minutes on 100 degrees. So if you are able to do that correctly 
then you've been awarded with, uh, with secret political recipes, an illustration of food. It was printed with a special ink, uh, and if you, if, you, if you don't do it correctly, then it gets burned as, as any other food that gets burned. Uh, we pre we, we've been searching for four years for the thermoreactive ink that uh, stays stable after baking. It's the old joke, like lemon juice, as you remember, <coughs> as you were kids, uh, writing invisible letters. But uh, I tried to convince our printer to put lemon juice in his printing machine, but he wasn't very uh, happy about that. So it took us four years working with different laboratories in France and China, uh, trying to, to find a solution. And on the end of the day, he did it himself, some kind of, uh, some kind of a special paint that worked. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we tried that for, it, it took us a long time to, to get uh, the right recipe to cook this book. Uh, after, after, that, uh, after that annual report, uh, unfortunately the management board was arrested because of cooking books. Uh, so we don't do that for that client anymore. Uh, but we have this, another client who is willing to spend some money on his annual reports, uh, this Adris group. And a few years ago, they said, okay, we have nothing really important to sell. Business is doing well. Uh, we want to emphasize that every hour of three, every of 3,000 hour employees is very important. And usually in annual reports, the biggest picture is the picture of the president of the board. So we said, okay, we'll show that. And uh, we took a picture of every of 3,000 employees that work in a company, from cleaning ladies to the, to the general manager. And we printed 3,000 different covers for, for the annual report, uh, showing every person that works in a company. And every, every employee got his copy. Uh, so yeah, these are the people there. The rest of the book is, again, very simple. Um, yeah, another annual report for the same company. Uh, I will show you a small movie about it. So these guys from the company says, okay, our numbers are fine, uh, we are employing 3,000 people, but we are doing much more for the society. Uh, we are employing like 330,000 uh, people that are not directly employed and they're giving a lot of money for this and that, and they wanted to show that they are bigger than they look. Uh, Podrivka, before, 
they've been trying with their annual reports to show what's the real strength of their brand. And they say it's important to cook with the heart. So we did several tests about cooking with and without the heart. This was one of these tests showing the old lady cooking without the heart and cooking with the heart. Uh, we also asked a famous Croatian writer uh, to write a story about tastes and smells of his childhood because this is the biggest strength of that brand. We all grew up with that smell and with that smells and tastes. Uh, so we knew that he will be writing about that. He will mention different different brands that Podravka has. Uh, so that was also one of, of uh, the illustrations of the real strength of, of that company. Uh, and the last annual report I'll show you, I promise, uh, is the one again for others. I think it was uh, two years ago when they expected really bad results because of the recession. But it happened, it was fine. So we prepared a small cover for that annual, but it happened to be okay. So it's just the cover is a little bit too small. Oh, there is more. Okay, I'll skip that. Uh, we have a really cool designer called Nebojša Cvetković in our agency. He's from Belgrade. Uh, and he's a great illustrator. So we wanted to give him a chance to make uh, something, something nice. And uh, he doesn't have that chance often in commercial work. So we did this, uh, did this picture book about spam. Uh, because he had really interesting spam in his uh, inbox, so he wanted to make a book about that and about the promises that spam gives you. Uh, so he did a whole book about that. I like this one. How's your booty? Uh, we've been asked a few months ago for, uh, Cro from Croatian Post to make a stamp uh, because they've been celebrating 20 years of uh, Croatian stamps uh, to make something that will make people, uh, to, to give the new life to the stamps. So we did this QR code stamps that, uh, that uh, you can check in when you send your postcard and when the other guy on the other end of the world receive it, he also check in and says, oh, I got it, and he can take a picture of himself, and he can play, you, you can play with that stamp uh, uh, connecting people in old-fashioned and new modern way. There is a website where you can, it's a mobile website where you can do all that. And Croatian's symbol is this red square, so it fits well with this QR code, actually. This is my partner, Silver, on this pick. Uh, we also invented this, we also like, we like to play with QR codes and with new technologies connecting the real world and uh, an online world. Uh, so we did this uh, t-shirt for, uh, for clubbing. If you are a nerd designer, very introvert and uh, uh, you have a problem uh, connecting with uh, the opposite sex, or maybe the same sex, if you like that. Uh, then you can use uh, QR code and Facebook. On your back you have this QR code that if somebody likes you in a club, he can scan or she can scan uh, your, your QR code and go goes directly to your Facebook, find out what your name is and can leave you a message. Of course, you are a nerd in a club dancing and then you look at your Facebook account a little bit on your mobile phone, see, aha, uh -huh, somebody is interested in me, uh -huh, let me see who is that, oh, I like her, hello, where are you? Uh, and if you don't like her, then you just, oh, I, I wasn't looking at my Facebook, sorry. Uh, and I tried that, this is my t-shirt, and of course this is not me in that t-shirt, unfortunately. Uh, and I tried, I tried that uh, in Belgrade. Uh, few years ago. Actually, it doesn't really work, but some <laughs> girls were taking photos of my back and uh, we had a few drinks after that and that was it, basically. <laughs> Tanya is a friend of my wife. I have to be aware of what I'm saying. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Yeah, we do cigarettes because, I don't know, it's bad, bad, very bad, but uh, I don't know, we like to do that because, I don't know, brings the revenue up. Uh, and cigarettes uh, have this warning that will that tells you what, what's going on uh, when you are consuming that product, unlike many other products like cosmetics and, and, some, kind, and some sorts of food. Um, so it's completely illegal to advertise cigarettes in Croatia and we try to fight the competition and competition are huge global multinational companies uh, hundred times bigger than we are. We're trying to, to, to find new ways uh, to service customers and to give them to, to somehow to make a different experience uh, from using our product. So we put this QR code that takes you uh, to the mobile website. Uh, in Croatia you have, s the law says that there are bars where you can smoke and where you cannot smoke. So this this mobile website help, is locating you immediately and gives you options where are the near, nearest bars where you can smoke uh, at the moment. trying to do some good things, like uh, sustainable things. Uh, every year we have to, we have to give presents uh, to our friends and clients, and uh, it's hundreds of presents, and, uh, and suppliers, etc. And usually we used to buy one thing and give it to all. Of course it doesn't function, because uh, people are not the same, and uh, we just didn't have time to choose a present for each of them. Uh, and we also are getting a lot of presents for Christmas and we have uh, shelves full of things that we really don't like and really don't need. So uh, one year we decided to get rid of that in a way that uh, we didn't buy anything for our friends. Uh, we put all the stuff uh, that we had on a website and we invited all our friends uh, to join us to pick something they like and what they have to do to, to give something to give something to put something on that website that they have and they don't like uh, so it was kind of a Christmas present exchange and it worked very well we got rid of all the things that we didn't like and that we've been collecting for years and people got stuff they liked uh, we got hundreds of completely crazy things from black dildos to the frozen turkeys and black dildo was out in two days uh, and it was it was really cool way of, of, uh, uh, of finding a good owner for for every present uh, a few years ago i think it's three years ago we won this uh, it was a pitch for uh, one of the regions in Croatia uh, for their vis visual identity. But what's special in this region is maybe they, ha they don't have the most beautiful Mediterranean uh, beaches, but they have really nice Mediterranean islands. Uh, but one hour uh, from that point, you have uh, middle European mountains uh, with snow. In the middle, you have uh, 150,000 people city with really great festivals and parties. So in one week of your vacation, you can experience completely different worlds. It's not like you're going to Greece and you go to Santorini and you have uh, one week of Santorini. You, here, uh, you can have really, really different experiences. Uh, 
So we try to, to, to emphasize that in the visual identity, saying diversity is beautiful. And for each experience, we try to build uh, its own uh, visual identity inside this overall visual identity. Uh, each person coming to, 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 to that destination can uh, make his own logo for, for the visit because uh, what we are, well, we propose that, I hope that they are going to do that. A small software where you answer the questions about your interest, about uh, what would you like to see at your vacation, and then they make you tailor-made uh, route for you. And uh, the computer makes your version of, of this logo because it has a billion versions. Uh, so each experience is unique. This is my secondary school, the fifth gymnasium. We did a small book about 100 years of that school. This is a book. Uh, tourism is very big industry in Croatia, so of course we are doing uh, stuff for tourists in the tourism industry. Uh, this is uh, this very pompous name, Olympic Center Park, is actually a bar for the fat German tourists. And so we try to show that in the visual identity. That's how it looks in real. Um, and there is, of course, the Olympic bar. After one year, it was closed down because the Olympic Committee, uh, Croatian Olympic Committee, says, "Hey, fuckers, what are you doing? <laughs> what kind of name are you using?" But it was fun, at least for one year. Uh, the Art Directors Club uh, asked all the winners uh, to make uh, some kind of illustration about their visual identity. Uh, they have this famous square, this famous square, it's not square, it's the English word, cube. Uh, so we've been playing with the cube a little bit. We ask all our designers to do something as stupid as possible, so they had fun. Uh, this is a visual identity for the bar called School, because it was open in old school. Uh, so all the materials have been teaching you something. For example, it's famous how men have problem with uh, pointing, uh, you know what, you know where. And so each material was trying, I don't know why this guy doesn't have what he's supposed to have here. Uh, so each material is explaining how to do things. Dancing. I think this was the fastest visual identity we ever did. Uh, I think it was like four hours, job, four hours job. Uh, completely unlike this one, it took I don't know, five months to do it. Uh, Lone is the first design hotel in Croatia, opened this summer. Um, it's very interesting building. Uh, from the outside it looks like, uh, like a cruiser. But the most, the most interesting part of the building is uh, this uh, lobby part. It's the heart of a hotel. Uh, everything happens there. Uh, and you have to, you know, all, all the, all, everything what's going on there is somehow connected to that lobby. So we took that lobby as, as, as a symbol that uh, depends in which part of a building is applied. Uh, it's changed. So this is how it looks. This is, uh, and we tried to, to, to make all the applications from one huge poster. We designed a huge 12 to 5 meters poster and we cut it in pieces and we use these pieces as uh, as the applications uh, needed for the hotel so these are different applications and when you put it all together it looks like this something Um, we have a lot of friends who are producing uh, olive oils, so for one of them, uh, we did this uh, packaging 
actually try to do something functional. It's one of the 15 best olive oils in the world, says some Italian magazine specialized in this. Uh, we try to do some packaging that actually has uh, some some function and you always have a problem with olive oil bottles that uh, it leaks a little bit no matter how good cork you have it always leaks a little bit so this paper actually uh, collects all, all the oil unlike this very classical packaging we did for the other guy uh, we are advertising agency we do uh, very very commercial projects like this uh, new chocolate from Crush Crash. The half that makes a difference. Dorina 50, dark chocolate with 50% cocoa. as usual. So let's take a 15 minute break and then we meet again, okay?